Ukrainian forces shelling civilians in Donetsk. EU reduced to 51st US state says lawmaker. Ukrainian mayor changes sides. Former McDonald's restaurants open in Russia with new name. Thousands of UK pubs may go bust. Donetsk has requested additional forces from Russia following heavy shelling in the city's residential areas by Ukrainian troops. The Donetsk People's Republic is requesting additional allied forces to help in its fight against Kiev forces, the head of the breakaway republic, Denis Pushilin, said on Monday in a video address. The move comes amid heavy artillery shelling by Ukrainian forces of residential areas in Donetsk and other locations across the republic. The enemy has literally crossed all lines. Prohibited methods of warfare are being used. The residential areas and the central districts of the city of Donetsk are under artillery shelling, other cities and towns of the DPR are also under fire, Pushilin stated. Therefore, the Republic is requesting Russia to deploy additional forces to help in the ongoing conflict, the official stated. An understanding was reached that all the necessary additional forces of the Allied troops, primarily of Russia, will be deployed, he said. Donetsk, as well as other locations across the DPR, have been subjected to heavy rocket and artillery attacks by the Ukrainian military over the past few days. The Croatian MEP Mislav Kolokusic has lashed out at the EU's foreign and defense policies, arguing that the bloc has become subservient to Washington. Kolokusic is an outspoken critic of the West's anti-Russia sanctions and of COVID-19 restrictions. Speaking in front of the EU Parliament last week, Kolokusic told his fellow parliamentarians that, EU foreign, defence and security policy today can be described in just one sentence. The European Union became the 51st federal state of the United States, but without the right to vote. Kolokusic has repeatedly criticised the EU's policy toward Russia since the start of Moscow's military operation in Ukraine in February. That policy has seen members cut vital imports of Russian fossil fuels while hiking defense spending and imposing multiple rounds of sanctions on Russia, essentially shouldering the costs of Washington's opposition to the Kremlin. It is an incredible lie and hypocrisy that the sanctions against Russia and a ban on imports of Russian oil and gas are sanctions against Russia. The sanctions are directed at 500 million citizens of the European Union and millions of citizens of the rest of Europe, he claimed in May. Vladimir Bandura has appeared in a video, claiming Ukrainian forces had killed monks and set fire to an Orthodox monastery. The Kiev-appointed mayor of Sviatogorsk, Vladimir Bandura, has switched his allegiance to the Donetsk People's Republic following the town's liberation from Ukrainian forces. The official appeared in a video last week, accusing the Ukrainian military of murdering Orthodox monks and setting a monastery ablaze. In a Telegram post on Monday, the president of the DPR, Denis Pushilin, revealed that he had long been in touch with Bandura, adding that the mayor was waiting, just like many Sviatogorsk residents, for the liberation and supports the special military operation. Pushilin explained that, for obvious reasons, the mayor had to keep his stance secret so as to save the people. The DPR leader went on to announce that he had decided to reinstate Bandura as the mayor of Sviatogorsk, which, according to him, has been taken over by the DPR and Russian forces. A number of former McDonald's restaurants reopened in Russia with new branding and ownership on Sunday. The iconic Golden Arches logo of McDonald's has been taken down at restaurants across the country, and the sites have reopened as Vikuzno i Tochka, which roughly translates as Just Tasty. A new logo has also been unveiled, a circle and two diagonal lines on a green background, resembling the letter M. According to the new owners, it represents a hamburger and two French fries. Among the first to reopen will be the flagship site in Moscow's Pushkin Square, where McDonald's launched its first Soviet branch in January 1990, symbolically marking the end of the Cold War for many Russians. Early Sunday, the site included the slogan. The name changes, the love remains. Russian media reports suggest the menu of the chain will remain almost the same, but the names of the items will be different. Meanwhile in Britain, more than 10,000 businesses are at risk of closure due to inflation with rent and energy costs soaring, UK hospitality says. Britain's hospitality sector is facing as big a crisis, if not bigger, than during the Covid pandemic, the chief executive of trade body UK hospitality, Kate Nichols, has told the Daily Mail. She warned that 10,000 pubs and restaurants could soon be out of business thanks to a perfect storm of inflation, with soaring energy and rental costs. We're already seeing a lot of independent operators handing in the keys and walking away, she said on Sunday.
Nichols estimates that 20,000 of UK hospitality members' businesses are still operating at a loss and 30,000 have no cash reserves. I've never seen such a toxic cocktail of costs. It is a perfect storm, she said. The latest data shows inflation in the British restaurant trade is running at 13% to 17% as a result of supply chain disruption due to the pandemic and the conflict in Ukraine, as well as higher wages due to staff shortages. Cost inflation means we have to trade 20% up just to stand still. We know that keys are being handed in at some tenancies, said Emma McClarkin, chief executive of the British Beer and Pub Association. This channel is dedicated to providing you with news, global events, and analysis. In an unbiased, easy to understand manner, excellent for getting quick updates and insights, and for educational purposes. If you get some value out of this video, please consider helping us. Give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content is released.